Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today showing you how to delete a user profile in Windows 10, although it works in 8 and 7 as well. It hasn't changed much over the years. We're going to walk you right through it. What you want to do is highlight this right here in the bold, System Properties Advanced, or type it in if you're feeling like typing. Windows key plus R, Control V. That will copy and paste that in there, and again, you can also type it in. Press Enter or click the OK button. And here is your user profiles. Make sure you're in the advanced tab. You may be somewhere else. Click advanced. Click the settings right here under user profiles. And there are your users. So I'm not going to do it now, but this is an extra account that I kept on the machine. All you have to do is highlight it and click delete. You won't be able to delete other accounts depending on how you're logged in. For example, that's my administrator account. So as a user, I can't delete an administrator for example nor the default profile so once again just click on the account you want to get rid of click on delete should also mention um, you can right here user accounts create new user accounts you can actually click on that and you can actually manage them in here but that's kind of redundant but if you're looking to add another user to replace when you're deleting this is where you go it's also where you go to change the user account settings change the account type so if I wanted to make somebody an administrator for example there you go pretty easy to do now if for some reason because it's Windows maybe this isn't working maybe you can't delete the user we can do that in the registry there's always some sort of trick now very much like what we just did highlight this line right here short of the period which I shouldn't have in there right click and hit copy this time we want to press the Windows key plus R and go to reg edit and once again Plus OK or press the Enter key. What we want to do is copy and paste that line I just told you. Control V, press Enter. You're looking for, they call them, what do they call them? SID keys? Yeah, SID keys. Basically, they're probably going to be the longer ones. So you see these basic numbers, but you're kind of looking for these, and I'll show you why. You can actually look for profile image path so you're probably gonna have two users for example at a minimum come over here click profile image path and there you can see it's C users Tim that's not the account I want so let's go to the next one profile image path you can also see it here major geeks account users Tim there you go so now what you can do is right click on that and delete that key and that will delete the user but we're not quite done because there's more to it. You have folders under your users. So let's open up File Explorer or Windows Explorer if you're back on 7 or 8. And we want to click on uh, this PC, depending on how your setup is. And you want to get down to your local disk. Once again, whatever it's named, the drive that Windows is installed to. And you want to find users. As I mentioned, I'm looking for the Major Geeks account. You're always going to have these folders. So all you need to do now is click on the account you want to delete, right click, and click on delete. That should be the end of that user. Shouldn't be there anymore once that is completed. There you go. That's how you do it, one way or the other. Most of you should be able to do the system properties. That's the fastest, easiest way to get there, as you saw. It makes it really, really simple. So I like to back up when I start playing with user accounts. I'm always afraid I'm going to break something or corrupt something. It's Windows after all. So if you ask me, I would make a system restore point before I got started or have some sort of backup just to cover yourself. Same with the registry. And there's links here that you can find in the article, which we will be linked to in the video description. But as you can see here, you can back up your registry by clicking this link, creating a system restore point so that you, if you don't know how to do it, we walk you through that as well. There you go. So, hey, thanks for watching as always. There's a little subscribe button over here right about now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.